and welcome to another episode of Lazy Organized Mom. Um, I'm going to catch you up on the Fly Lady um, life changing experience, Rubicon. call. I'm not calling it a challenge because it's not like you just stop and you win a prize. Like this is like a life changing type of thing, you know, to help you stay organized, get organized, you know, all that good stuff. So, so far for our AM routine, we have get dressed to lace up shoes, which was last month's um, monthly routine. This month is going to be making your bed. So that's in the PM routine. Anyways, back to AM. So we got get dressed, lace up shoes, uh, look at your posted reminders in your kitchen and bathroom that you have up, you know, reminding you what to do. Uh, read your fly lady emails, uh, recognize those negative evil voices in your head and turn them into positive and wonderful little things in your head. Like I can do this today, no matter how crazy my life is. Oh, you can do it. So, um, make sure you get those thoughts in your head. Put out your first hot spot for two minutes. Once again, a hot spot is a place like where paper clutter kind of piles up and you're just like, I don't even know what to do with this. It's everywhere. It's on the counter. It's in my way. Set your timer for two minutes. Go at it. Clear out the hot spot and stop. Um, do a five minute room rescue. Remember, it's supposed to be your worst room in the house. The room you don't want anybody to ever see. Which is like my laundry room. Ugh. Don't like laundry. Um, but mine is my laundry room. I did that this weekend. My husband helped me. Oh, he's so sweet. And of course we made the kids help too. So whatever. Um, but five minute room rescue, you rescue, you pick that room, you set your timer for five minutes, go through it, start decluttering, getting rid of stuff, just cleaning it, whatever you need to do for five minutes and then stop. Remember it's five minutes for like 27 days straight. And you'll seriously be surprised how good that room could look whenever you're done. Um, 15 minutes, set your timer for 15 minutes each day and just declutter. Just start going through, picking stuff, you know, get like a little basket, start putting everything in there. So if you want to get rid of, mark on the box, you know, Goodwill, grab sale, don't, you know, whatever you want, get rid of it. Declutter for 15 minutes. And then the last one is look at your control, control journal, which I do not do. Um, it's kind of like a home management binder, although I'm going to show you something after I go through the fly lady that I'm trying to do. Um, but it's not quite a controlled journal. It's not something I have to look in at every single day. But uh, I know I don't, I said I don't have binders, but I'll, sh anyways, I'll show you later. Um, look at your post-it notes in your control journals. There'll be a link below for the flylady.net where you can go and check out her uh, control journals. Now your PM routine up until now is keep shining your sink, which I'll admit there's a couple times this, uh, Week where my sink was not shining, um, my daughter forgot to do her nighttime dishes, set the um, dishwasher at nighttime, so when we woke up, I was not able to put in our breakfast stuff, I had to work, came home, things got crazy, dishes piled up, she was supposed to be the one in charge of dishes, so they got behind, we're catching back up, it happened, okay, it's part of life, that's why she, the fly lady says, you jump in where you're at, so life happens. Um, lay out your clothes for tomorrow. I'm serious. It really does help. Um, you're not sitting there going, oh, what should I get? Da, da, da. You know, just put it on one hanger, you know, find a hook, a command hook or something you can put up in your closet to put your outfit there. It really does help if you have it picked out the day before. Um, and that way if you do have to like run to the store or something, you're dressed, you're ready to go. You don't have to sit there and change, blah, blah, blah. Even though I love my pajamas, which today I'm in because I knew I wasn't going to go anywhere no matter what. But then I ended up going somewhere, but I really didn't care. Um, anyways, um, put out your hotspot for two minutes, you know, put out a hotspot and then look at your control, control journal and your checklist. That's what she's got for the PM. Um, today she wants you to read an essay about using a calendar. I actually love her calendar. I'm not kidding you. I love it. I have, um, some clips of it in another video that I did. Her boxes are huge. They have perfect straight lines on it. There's no pictures on me wrong. I love the ones with like, you know, the Bible, uh, you know, the scripts from the Bible or, you know, they have beautiful pictures. I love those. Don't get me wrong. Her calendars are huge because there's no picture on it. There's no horsing around. You get straight down to business. They are huge. Like I sometimes have to have, you know, six different things on one day and those old ones, like just little tiny squares. So I'd be like tiny and I'd be like needing a magnifying glass. What did I put down for today? You know, no, these ones are big, so I can write real, you know, big on it. There's even a pocket in the back of your uh, calendar, just like a little paper pocket thing. 
Um, I put some papers in there. Like the kids got this big summer thing that our town's going to be doing. We just moved to town. So we got this um, summer packet that kind of tells you. Up. There's two whole pages of things for the kids to do all summer. Some of them are free. Super excited. I cannot wait. So I put that in the back. Um, and then I can jot those down on the calendar once I have time to go through it. Or, you know, we can just pull it out and look at it. Um, I'm head of of the... I'm the chairperson for our PTO uh, book fair, so I have some of my important papers back there for like the book fair stuff that I can pull out, write down, put it in there. I know where it's at, so it's super awesome. I love her calendar. Seriously, go to her website and check them out. You will never buy another calendar. I'm not kidding, and she's not promoting me for this or anything. I'm telling you this because my own personal use um, I will not promote something or say anything good about it. You know, if somebody pays me, if I don't like it, I'll give you a negative feedback. I'm a very honest person, but I love her calendars. I'm not kidding. You will seriously love them. Anyways, so day 15 um, is you'll do all that stuff from up catching up till today, day 14. Then day 15, you're going to add making your bed to your uh, morning routine, making your did I, wait, last time did I say we're going to add making your bed to the PM routine? I think I might accidentally said that. I meant AM routine. Wow. Okay, so making your bed to your, I guess for me, my husband works thirds. So it's like making the bed in the morning and in the evening, even though we don't do that. Because really for us, there's no point to make the bed. By the time I'm getting up, he's going to bed. By the time he's getting up, I'm about to be going to bed. So for us, it's just like, whatever. Um, every once in a while, I make it really quick before I get in. Because sometimes it is nice, you know, to get into a nicely fresh made bed. Oh, there's something about it. Oh, it's a rainy day out. So just being in bed next sounds really nice. Anyway, so day 15, add making your bed to your morning routine, which is also the habit of the month. Day 16, look at the Fly Lady website for the daily email. Um... You can go there, explore. Like I said, I don't do all of these. Um, you know, I get her emails. I kind of know what her website's about or her, you know, whatever. I've been through it and read it. This is like my second time doing the Fly Lady because the first time it was crazy and hectic. Actually, this is my third time. I did forget. I tried for like a couple weeks last year when we first moved in here. Wasn't a good idea. Things were just too crazy. I didn't have time to like try to add that to my chaos. So now I have time to add this to my chaos. Um, day 17, set a bedtime and stick to it. Um, that one, um, uh, I do not do, I'm going to be completely honest. Sometimes, you know, I'm in bed by like 730. Um, there's some days I don't even get to bed till like three, four o'clock in the morning. It's horrible. I know, but as a mom, you know, sometimes your head gets going or, you know, one time, I drank coffee too late, then I was up forever. That was dumb. I don't know, whatever. So setting the bedtime routine, that's more for like if you don't have kids or if your kids are a little older. Um, I still got like a young one and so I don't know, just I don't always follow that one. I try, I really honestly I do try, but it's hard. You know, we always have so many different things going on that it's it's just it's kinda hard. Um Day 18, read the 11 commandments that she has on her uh, webpage. And actually, I already had these written out. Um, I mean, you can see how old it is. I mean, it's like coming out of my binder thing. Um, I used to have a coupon binder. And apparently, um, like last September, I tried to make a fly lady like binder thing. Like I said, I don't do binders. I like quit like super quick. There's only like four papers in it. But um, I'm going to try and do it again a little different. So I found this in that binder. Um, this is the Fly Lady Love and Commandments. I'll just go ahead and read them to you really quick. Keep your sink clean and shiny. Number two, get dressed every morning, even if you don't feel like it. Don't forget your lace-up shoes. Uh, number three, do your morning and before bedtime routine every day. I, on my um, routine sheets, I made one to put up. Well, actually, I had one already in my binder thing, so I'm just going to copy it and put it up in the bathroom somewhere and in the bedroom somewhere. Um, I have my bed routine at the top and then my AM routine on the bottom because I believe that you should, that your bedtime routine sets your day, sets the next day. Because when you first wake up, that first impression is how your day is going to go. So if you're prepped the night before, when you wake up, things will go smooth. 
I, that doesn't always um, happen with me. So I'm guilty of that too. Anyway, don't allow yourself to be sidetracked by the computer. Pick up after yourself. If you get it out, put it away. We're all really bad, We're all really bad about that in my house. Um, don't try to do two projects at once, one job at a time. Um, yeah, I'm super guilty of that. Like right now I have like 50 things going on. I have two closets cleaned out. I'm trying to get stuff for the camper. Eh, whatever. But I like it like that. Like, I don't know. Like, that's just how I do it. I can't help it. Um, don't pull out more than you can put back in one hour. <clears throat> guilty of that. Do something for yourself every day, every morning and night. Uh, yeah, sometimes I get to, sometimes I don't. Whatever. Um, I try. Let's put it that way. My husband's really good about it. He'll take the kids for me, you know, on the weekends or something for like an hour or two. So... I can kind of do what I need to do. So, I mean, I got to give it to my husband. He really is good about that. So, good job, babe. Um, work as fast as you can to get the job done. This will give you more time to play later. Smile even when you don't feel like it. It is contagious. Make your mind up. Uh, make up your mind. Um, to be happy and you will be. Sorry, my phone cut out or whatever. Don't forget to laugh every day. Pamper yourself. You deserve it. So, those are the 11 commandments for the fly lady now I do have this binder it kind of had some stuff already in it so I'm just gonna pretty much just reuse it what in the world is going on here okay something I get here there we go so um I sorry as I try to this back together here a little bit um the only reason why I'm doing this is because I do have like a blog and you know, I like to jot my notes down and things like for Facebook or, you know, my YouTube videos. So I did go ahead and do this. And that way I keep all my fly lady stuff together. I can keep, so I'm not doing fly lady forever. I'm just going to take you through the baby steps and then, you know, that's probably about it. But then this is like, you know, ideas for my blog, you know, like I can jot everything down. So anyway, this is what I had. I had, this used to be my coupon binder. It's like one of those coupon fanatics. I had like tons of stuff everywhere. Um, it just took up too much time, the space, and I've just found other ways to save money without having a coupon, so it's cool with me. Here I just have a little place, um, you know, I used to have my scissors clipped in here for when I would clip and stick them in there. Places for your pencils and stuff, just a little pouch. This closes. There's a zipper here on the side. I have paper clips in there. Um, there is a pocket here on the top up there that you can put stuff in. I got this. Um, during back to school, I waited till it went on sale and I found one I really liked. It's pink. It's my favorite color. And um, the inside's black, my other favorite color. So I got this back to school and it was like super, just like a couple dollars. So I got this one. And then on the inside here, it has an accordion file thing, which I think is really cool. So I can just put a few things in there. Sorry, I had to clear some stuff off my phone. Gee, I really need to get my camcorder out and get it going so then I don't keep having this problem and it'll look a little better in my videos. Um, there's also a little pocket here in the back. So, um, I really like this. It's big. It's got a zipper on it and zips all the way. So stuff don't fall out. Um, here in the front, I have my fly lady 11 commandments, um, paper. I'll just keep that in the front, you know, for now or whatever here. I have a notebook, um, has my name on it. So the rest is out of it. Yeah, right. Um, so that way I can just jot down a few things if I need to, you know, um, and I have these little tabs here. Um, I got these also back to school. So that way, um, they were really cheap. They were like probably like a 95 cents or something crazy or like 25 cents. Uh, you can get them down to like 10 cents sometimes, but uh, these ones were kind of more like a plastic and really cute. So they were just a little bit more, but whatever. I like them. Um, so I have... Here's the bedtime routine that I did have made out in here already. See, I put my PM, my morning, and then down here I put my cleaning schedule, like Monday. You know, like I really clean the living room. Uh, we'll talk more about this during the fly lady. So we'll get there. I'm just gonna, I'll copy this down, stick it. Um, I have a copier here in the house. I'll just literally copy this one here that I made. I'll have to rewrite it two more times. Just copy that, put it up somewhere. I'm gonna keep this in here, not because so I have to look at it every day. That's one thing I hate about binders. So I'm going to make two copies, one for the bedroom, one for the bathroom, and then I'll keep this one in here in case I need to copy it again or, you know, just whatever. I just have an extra one. That's, you know, the, the good copy. And then um, we're going to be getting into zones here lately. I know on the last video I had of the Fly Lady days 9 through 